Hey friends, have you ever seen someone face an obstacle so huge that it seems impossible to overcome? Well, buckle up, because Tony Beats the Legend of Goldrush just faced one of his most daunting challenges yet on his Indian River claim. And guess what he's about to show us? That with a bit of grit determination and a whole lot of heavy machinery, anything is possible picture this Tony's primey mining spot rich with promise suddenly gets hit by a massive flood. Imagine standing there staring at a million gallons of water that just swallowed your gold for most people that would be the end of the story but not for Tony. No way Tony Beats doesn't back down from a fight, he gears up for it now. Tony's plan is bold like real bold, he's decided to pump out all that water not hundreds not thousands but millions of gallons of water his team works around the clock using enormous pipes to redirect the water to a nearby pond, the suspense builds as the water levels drop, inch by inch, and every moment carries. The weight of a question what secrets are hiding beneath that flood, will they strike gold, or something far more dangerous this right here my friends, is what we call the watering a critical move. In mining it's not just about keeping operations going it's about saving. Everything water in a mine can be a miner's worst nightmare threatening to bring the whole operation to a standstill, and Tony knows this all too. Well, by pumping the water away, he's not only securing his mind, but also protecting the environment around him. It's a win-win, but dewatering isn't as simple as it sounds. Tony's engineers are deep into the earth, fighting against the clock as an ominous sound of rushing. Water echoes in the distance, is there an underground river waiting to swallow? Their progress, it's moments like these that keep us all on the edge of our seats. Meanwhile, there's more going on behind the scenes. Tony's youngest son, Mike, steps up to the plate. He's tasked with fusing massive pipes, a job that sounds simple, but trust me, it's anything. But the fusion machine struggles, and if Mike doesn't get those pipes fused right, the whole operation could be delayed for days. Can you imagine the pressure? But with some grit, determination, and a little elbow grease, Mike gets the job. Done those pipes are ready to move water. And that means the gold extraction is about to begin, and just when you think things can't get more intense we got. Aaron earlier that day he managed to snag a pole causing a traffic jam in the middle of nowhere, his truck stuck he's dealing with it like a pro, but you can almost feel the weight of every minute. Ticking by the team pushes through these early obstacles, and before they know it, Boom, they hit gold. Yep, you heard that right after four years of waiting, Tony and his crew finally strike gold on Indian. River, it's a huge win, and the team's hard work is paying off. They pan for gold and find several sizable flakes. It's a moment of triumph. Tony gathers the crew and they celebrate, but there's still so much work ahead with the wash. Plant set up and the gold rich dirt. Exposed, they're gearing up for a season. Full of success, the stakes are sky high. But Tony is chasing the dream of pulling thousands of ounces of gold out of the ground, and with gold prices hitting all-time highs, he's more determined than ever to hit that 3,000 ounce target, and he's got a secret weapon, a portable wash. Plant a game changer that might just make all the difference, of course. It's not all smooth sailing we've got busted. Bulldozers, tricky repairs, and a massive 35-ton TRL that needs to be moved from Moose Creek. But nothing phases Tony. He's got a plan, and his crew is right there, with him ready to face every challenge. Head on from navigating icy waters to installing calls, every task is tackled. With precision and care as they journey deeper into the Yukon will wilderness. You can feel the tension and excitement. Every obstacle is met with determination and every win brings them closer to their ultimate goal. It's more than just gold, it's about the thrill of the hunt, the satisfaction of overcoming, impossible odds, and the promise of a massive payout. But let's get real, did Tony's drastic measures justify the risk? Did he go too far in his quest for gold? Or was this all just part of his master plan? Let us know what you think in the comments below, and if you love seeing these epic mining adventures don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe for more updates on Tony's incredible journey. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next time on the next thrilling episode of Gold Rush.